Hello, everybody, and welcome to Championship Football on Smoky Hills PBS. It's the six-man state title game at the Wild West Bowl in Dodge City with the Cunningham Wildcats and the Natoma Tigers. I'm Jeremy McGuire along with analyst Larry Jantz. These two teams come in 3-0. and These two teams come in fired up and ready to go, and this should be one heck of a football game. When you get the Wildcats 9-0 and and you get the Tigers from Natoma 8-0, and that means they've done everything the best they could do this year. Whatever opponents are throwing at them, they've done it all. Cunningham has scored team-wise 520 points for the whole year. They gave up only 112 points on defense. That's 12.4 average on defense. They've scored on offense 52.7 for the per game. Likewise for the Natoma Tigers, They've scored 439 points in offense, average is 54.9. That's pretty close. And defense had give up 145 points to uh, for average 18.7. But 50 points of that given up was to none other than Northern Valley's second game of the year. The offensive keys for the Natoma Tigers, Jeremy, is maintain the blocks, execute the plays, and keeping a level head because we know the opponents will always try to shake up number 22, Caden Martinez and of the rest of the players. But look for them, their main three of them are just Bulldogs. Number 55, Derek George. Number 22, Caden Martinez. And number eight, Javon Leach. They are, they are incredible. On defense, they hope to be aggressive, being physical, and execute tackling the proper technical techniques. That's the Atoma Tigers and head coach Tyler Masters. For the Cunningham Wildcats, Lane, Lance McGuire, head coach. They're gonna run a traditional uh, I formation most of the time or run a spread. Their keys to offense to win the game, Jeremy, is take care of the ball, be aggressive and make plays, and do your job. Don't try to do somebody else's job. Stay there, do your own job. Uh, turn on the key points on defense to try to win the game. Get some turnovers. Number two, get aggressive and make tackles. Number three, do your job again. They're going to be on the defensive side of the ball, a 2-3-1 set. Also do a 3-3. Led by sophomore Jack Ruckle, he's their main uh, aggressive tackle. I think around 162 tackles for the year. You look at these two teams, this is not familiar territory for them. When we come back, we'll have your coin toss and get ready for football here in Dodge City on Smoky Hills PBS. Presentation of the Wild West Bowl Championship Game on Smoky Hills PBS is brought to you in part by Programming on Smoky Hill Public Television is made possible in part by an underwriting grant from Nextech, providing the area with top-notch broadband, business technology, and advertising solutions. Nextech proudly supports the economic growth of rural communities. United is proud to be a part of your community, taking care of you so you can take care of what matters. GetUnited.com The Cunningham Courier www.cunninghamcourier.news Skyland Grain LLC Connecting our producers to the world Bethany College, Kansas Angel and Cook LLC, Natoma Fitzsimmons Insurance Agency Incorporated, Cunningham, Kansas Welcome back to Memorial Stadium in Dodge City. We are getting closer to kickoff. They are preparing the captains to come out for the coin toss here in Dodge City on Smoky Hills PBS, it's the six-man state title game at the Wild West Bowl. Jeremy McGuire and Larry Jantz on Smoky Hills PBS. These two teams come in 9-0 and on the season, undefeated, and this is not familiar territory for them. The last time Natoma was in a state championship game in football was 1974, which was two years before I was born, so that was a long time ago. Cunningham, last time they were in it was 1975 in the state title game. So, that being said, Larry Jant, there'll be some nerves in this football game early until you hit a few pads together and start playing ball. The only thing you add to that makes a difference that the best finish by Cunningham was consolation last year. They was in a consolation last year. They also was eight man, uh, eight and two and 208. Of course, that's quite a while ago. And this year, of course, 9-0. and And they only had that one senior on the team, three juniors, five sophomores, and four freshmen. And uh, so their starters are going to be one senior, two juniors, two sophomores, and a freshman. Pretty young team, but to hold teams to only 12.4 points per game 
on defense, they're pretty solid. They're pretty uh, sound. And Coach Lance McGuire, he was on the Sterling College staff for four years. And so he's been around 20, about 26 years in coaching and 15 and 8, and of course, in six man. So he understands, uh, understands pretty much the game of it. And so we're going to find out about Natoma head coach Tyler Masters today. And so, uh, but he's got a bunch of bulldogs on his team. They're, they're, they're big. They are, they are big. They are huge. They are huge. And you get bigger than that. You've got that running back, that number 22. Oh, Caden, I watched him last Saturday when they destroyed Ashland 67-18. I mean, he would run over you and make a pancake out of you, run over me and make another pancake, run over Michael Quaid and make another pancake. I mean, he was just a bulldozer looking for a place to happen. And then you got George and you got Javon. 8, 55, and 22. Look for them today. Natoma has won the toss. They are putting their offense on the field to start the football game. The Tigers will send them out and go, I believe, from our right to our left as we get going as the officiating crew discusses this game and a little bit of the six-man rules. If this is your first time watching a six-man game, first and 15, the first guy to receive the snap can't run it. You got to have two guys touch the ball other than the center and the quarterback. So you got so we'll see what happens as Cunningham will tee it up and get ready to go Natoma. Back deep it looks like they are going to send Trayson Fry, 137 pounds senior back deep as Cunningham will tee the ball up at the 30 yard line. And I Fry can run. You should have seen him get open on some pass plays against last week. Ho oh, ho ho. He got some wheels on him, boy. And we will see if they choose to kick it deep or if they opt to keep it short. There's uh, the head referee of the white hat is old Bruce Van Lunen. Been around a long time, sports official. Known him forever when he's a student at Fort Hayes State. Coached the Hill City area, Kenton, all around. Now he's officiating. Got a couple of his sons on the crew today. Eric Alec, Mike Schultz, and Mike Weber. That's your crew today, the, the Zebras. And they're ready to wind will. the clock and get this thing started, Jeremy. Reed will tee it up for the Wildcats. And we are underway. It's a, and we got a whistle to start things off. Illegal procedure. Somebody might have went past the line. Past the line of scrimmage. So back it up five yards, our first penalty of the game. Do you think Cunningham might have been a little eager? I think get, they might be. A little eager to get down there and try to make a tackle. Cue up the music again, and here we go. Doug and Reed. The freshman. That one's in the air. It's a deep one. That is going to roll into the end zone. We have a touchback. So the... Penalty on the opening kickoff doesn't hurt Cunningham, and Natoma will come out like this. Ricky Mayberry, the third at center. The end, Trayson Fry, Javon Leach, the quarterback, Roy Bright, running back, Caden Martinez, fullback, Derek George. A six-man I formation. They are not afraid to just smash mouth football right at you. Jack Ruckle. And Isaiah Reed, there's the right side. George with the carry, breaks through one man, but can't get away, and it's going to be a short gain of a couple on the play. I'll bring up second down for the Tigers. Yeah, on the offensive keys, they're maintaining the blocks, execute the plays, keeping a level head. They run a lot of things out of the standard old traditional I formation. They also run the spread, and the Toma does, and also they'll go the double wing set. Of course, that was the eye formation, like you called, Jeremy, to full back to George. And don't forget, you got that tailback, Mr. Caden Martinez, number Dag 22. Dagham Reed and Trey DeWeese are the outside linebackers. There's second man through is Martinez, and he is stacked up. Isaiah Reed in there, first man, a gain of a couple on the play. It's third down and 11. Martinez has rushed uh, 
for over 1,697 yards this year, 37 touchdowns on the ground, and had 106 carries to do that. So he's a pretty good horse, and he can fill the ball. So look for a pass play right here. Third down and 11. They're going to pitch it back to Martinez, second man to get it. Looking for the edge, has a stiff arm. Still going, and he is going to get maybe a yard on the play. Team defense all over that. Dagan Reed was in there coming in to help finish off was Lane Halderson. A gain of a yard on the play. It's fourth down and 10 for Natoma. Cunningham did some lot of film study on this one to uh, stop him here in a fourth down. They ain't not familiar with that fourth down and a, a good 11 yards to go. So we're going to see what they're going to do. Looks like the Tigers are going to punt it. Grayson Fry will take the snap. He'll get it away. It's a high end over ender that's going to bounce and bounce sideways and will settle in that's right at the 21 yard line. Yeah. So Cunningham will start first down and 10 at their own 21 yard line after they force the Natoma Tigers into a two and out Larry Jam. Well, wow, pretty good job. Now you're going to get to see. Uh, Luke McGuire, the coach's son, of course, be able to be a running back, but you got Trey DeWeese, the quarterback. You'll get the starters, I'm sure, on the offensive side of the ball. But they like to uh, take care of the ball, be aggressive, and make plays to do your job on offense. That's the keys, Coach Lance McGuire said. Dagham Reed, Lance Holderson split to the near side. Isaiah Reed to snap it. They're going to spread right away. They're going to throw it out in the flat. Luke McGuire looking for some space. Cuts across the grain. He has some blockers. McGuire on the run. Look out. Luke McGuire inside the 20. Down to the 18-yard line. 41 yards and a first down. And they opened up with one of their favorite plays. They didn't run the traditional line that time. They went in the spread for a run pass option. And, of course, you saw the spread, and that's what they like to do. Get that out and give some space. And Luke McGuire, he does a great job. 145-pound sophomore. Shows you how important open field tackling is. Yes, it is. First and 15 from the 18-yard line. They spread you out far and wide on this six-man field. Deweese to throw it. Has to throw it. Throws it across the middle incomplete. Look like a bounce on the turf. Looking for Halderson. Bring up second down. He's the one that got a little dinged up last week, I think. Coming here a little bit. Wasn't at full speed or 100% healthy. But he did a great job diving for the ball that time. 187-pound junior. Had three catches. No, three rushes this year, 27 yards. 28 receptions for 488 yards. Javon Letts on the coverage that time for... The Tigers, Luke McGuire, second man, is going to throw it to the end zone, incomplete. Looking for Dagham Reed, it's incomplete. It's going to bring it out third of, down. It'd been out of bounds anyway, but if he would have caught it. But a great effort by Reed and a great job of just setting old Luke, just waiting, waiting, waiting. And the last second, and stood down to Reed 12, intended for number 12, Dagham Reed, 143-pound freshman. Playing fullback and running back today for the Cunningham Wildcat. Trips to the near side for yeah. the Wildcat. There's a throw out in the flat. Catch is made. A little bit of running room. And finally, a host of Tigers bring Lane Halderson down. At the seven-yard line, a gain of 11. It will bring up fourth down and four. Well, a little trickier to Adam right now. Probably hadn't seen much of that three uh, uh, split to the right, don't you suppose? Not those too many teams that run that this year. No. You always save a few uh, extra plays in the, when you get to a championship game, don't they? Six minutes, 27 seconds and counting here in the first quarter. No score. Natoma had the ball first, went three and out. Still coming down with an ice set, kind of like the spread. There's the pitch. McGuire has some room. Tries to make a man miss. He does to the there. goal line and touchdown. touchdown. 
Luke McGuire into the end zone from seven yards out with 6-0 out. We have a flag right in the middle. Right in the middle of the field, just inside the holding. Could it be a holding? Well, I got the zebra convention going. Bush Van Loon in the white hat. And here comes the call. There's the block in the back against the Cunningham Wildcats. Cunningham Wildcats. So it is a penalty back to the 10 yard line. It happened was, at the goal uh, line. The block in the back was by Jack Ruckel, the 180 pound sophomore. He's caught, he's been a reception. He's caught five receptions, 39 yards, and a touchdown this year. So fourth down and seven from the 10. Back to McGuire. He's going to float it to the corner of the end zone. Out of man. It's incomplete. He, he was floated open. it out there. Pass intended for Isaiah Reed, who had five yards between him and any the nearest Tiger. And it's incomplete. And that penalty is a big one. Yes, it was. Took away the touchdown. Made it fourth and long. And then the pass, he floated it over there. But you look at the flags. On the opposing side over there, the flag's blown a little bit. A little breeze out of the north. Of course, their team was going north to south then on this football field. But now it's the Toma Tigers got the ball, Jeremy. First and 15 from the 10. Martinez looking to throw it. Has a man out there, launches it down the field. Lynch has it. Javon Lynch at midfield is brought down at the 34-yard line. Javon. A 36-yard pass completion. Von Leach is a good place generally left in. He's had 16 resets for 303 yards and five touchdowns this year. That's first, a great one right then. First down and 15 from the 34 yard line. There's a pass deep. A man's out there. It's Fry inside the five, down at the three, and the quick strike attack of Natoma as Roy Bright finds his man. That's a great pass, great catch. Told you, you get that little fry kid out there. I saw him last week. And I'll tell you what, he's got some wheels. That kid can move, and he's got good hands. And Natoma has went from the 10, their own 10, to the Cunningham 4 in the blink of an eye. Two plays, eye formation for the Tigers. There's the give to Martinez. Cuts it back. Bulldog oh, one, my goodness. Two, boom, boom, boom. Runs right over Trey DeWeese into the end zone for the Natoma touchdown. Would, wow. Did you say he was not to be denied? I'd say that'd be pretty accurate. My goodness. That was one way overrun by that young man, and it's six to nothing, Tigers. Well, let me tell you, I saw plenty of that last Saturday live. Saw lots of it. <laughs> Extra point attempt by Mayberry is no good. So with 5.03 to go here in the first quarter, it's the Natoma Tigers on the board first, Larry Jantz, with a four-yard touchdown run. And they lead by a score of six to nothing. And, man, you, you talk about swing plays in a ball game. You think, Oh, it's just the first quarter. It's not that big of a deal. That That's, that block in the back took a touchdown off the board, and then in, and then Cunningham ended up not scoring. Natoma got the ball and marched right down the because field. Because that, that fourth down and pass went flying out of the end zone, incomplete, take over and downs, like you said. And what was it, three plays later, touchdown? Wow. Took them three plays. Two long pass plays, and then the bulldozer run. By Martinez. Okay, oh, Caden, number 22. Did I not tell you how he can make a pancake out of you? He can. He can. He just did. Now Cunningham will have to answer. The, the Wildcats sure moved the ball. Yeah, they did. Pretty well down the field. 
and once they got inside the got inside the ten, it stalled on them. You know that Lance McGuire and his assistant Eric Kirsten, they've done a lot of film study. They know how tough he was, and they also know how to answer it. Um, they've just done a great job with only one senior on their squad. So Cunningham Wildcats, they'll come back. And Lance McGuire ain't been coaching 26 years for nothing. And here we go. The kick is a deep one. Luke McGuire looks at it. It checks up inbounds. He'll take it at the nine. Cuts it up. Spins off of a tackler and gets across the 20 and is brought down at the 22-yard line. 13-yard return by Luke McGuire, and he is electric when he gets that football. Yeah, and I tell you what, from uh, Natoma, that number 30 comes in on all the kickoffs. K.C. Conlon, he was on that tackle right then, 159-pound junior. He's on every kickoff I saw last, last week. K.C. Conlon does a great job. Now let's see what Cunningham can do with the ball. First and 15. Ball at the 23-yard line. There's a pitch back to Luke McGuire. He's going to air it out. Deep down the field, Holderson's got it! Yes, he does. Lane Holderson at the 16-yard line. Whatever 41 can, yards. Whatever you can do, I think we can do better, or we're going to give an attempt there, at it. There's a song, Anything You Can Do, I, I can, can Do, do Better. better. Yeah, I, I can do anything better than you. And Lance McGuire, Lance, the coach, he's, he's old enough to understand that. That's He's probably heard that. I hope our viewers didn't just turn tune off because oh, I sang on did. the air. Oh, yeah. So I apologize for that. <laughs> First well, and a good 15 singer. from the 16-yard line. Jerry's pretty good. Jeremy's a pretty good singer in the shower. <laughs> I think. His Back kids, to pass to Weiss. He's under pressure. pressure. He gets hit, and that pass is incomplete. And on the pressure was Jared Griffin, the 165-pound junior. So it brings up second down and 15. I mean, both of these teams like to air the football out. Yes, they do. Second down and 15 from the 16-yard line. Ruckel split to the far side. Dagam Reed in the slot. Here's the pitch back to McGuire. He's looking. He's under some pressure. He's going to run it. He's going to break a tackle inside the 10 and look to cut back. Luke McGuire picks up 13 yards. It'll bring up third down and two. He did a smart thing. I think he got the turf. He, he may not have liked the work, though, that contact he's got about ready to get. Well, and he saw Javon Letch coming up and said, yeah, I don't think so. I think that's a smart choice. Third down and only a little over a long yard for a first down. Only about less than three yards from a touchdown. And they'll spread offense again. Luis throws it out in the flat. Reed makes the catch. Wow. Javon Letch was right there. Yes, he was. It brings up fourth down and four, a loss of two on the pass play. Javon is a 213-pound junior, made 53 tackles this year, two interceptions of four fumble recoveries, and that's a big tackle for loss right then. Fourth down and four. They need the one for a first down. There's a pitch back to McGuire. Throws it into the flat, incomplete. Oh. Had his man out there. Halderson was there. It is incomplete, the and it's a turnover on down. The ball was a little too tall, though, for him. The wind might be affecting uh, Luke's pass a little bit because it's behind him, and the ball is interesting to float a little bit on you. So first and 15. If you're a Cunningham, you – we're early, 2.54 to go in this one, 6 to nothing. Natoma on top. You don't want to get it in the track meet and play from behind against this Natoma team. No. Or I wouldn't think he would. Likewise, if Natoma was down, I'd say the same thing. That's true. 
High formation. Martinez gets the pitch. Oh, what a lead block he has. Martinez lowers his shoulder across the 10, brought down at the 11. A pickup of six on the play, and where there is a Wildcat, oh, that is Luke McGuire. That is Luke McGuire, and he is slow to get up. After the, the six yard side. game after the six yard game from Caden Martinez. And that, the, could be, that could be an important moment in this game. Coach's son, sophomore, Luke McGuire, hundred and forty five pound sophomore, injured on that play there. There's then a couple examples of the power that Martinez has when he runs the football. But not only him, but the lead block that you get from the fullback, George. That Derek George is no slouch, 192-pound senior. And uh, and they're going to take a break, and we'll take a break as well. 2.38 to go in the first quarter. Oh, Luke, what? I'm going to double-check that. We're going to keep it right here. McGuire is up and coming off the field with a little bit of help. And I think they're going to take him straight back to the locker room Training the way it's staff looking. Training be working on him. So it'll bring up second down and nine from the 11-yard line. And take him over to the training table and see what they can do with him. So Luke McGuire will take a spot out, and Trent Schnicker, the freshman, comes on to the field. Must have been his left ankle. He's taken off his left shoe. There's there, a pitch man. back to Martinez. He's hit, breaks the tackle, cuts it back, still on his feet, still going, breaks another tackle. Martinez, and that's going to be a blindside block. And I think Martinez saw it, and he just ran out of bounds. There's no sense in running any further. When there are four flags on the field in the same place, and that blindside block is you cannot come back towards your line of scrimmage to make a make a block. And so that'll be uh, half the distance to the goal line. I don't think there's any line be left in the referee's pocket. I it's think the back the judge was the only one who didn't throw the flag, and that's because he he saw the other four in the air at the same time. Well, I think he was located up by Jetmore, wasn't he? He was. He was not here near the football field on that play. So a nice run by Martinez, but they'll back it off 10 yards or half the distance to the goal back to the nine-yard line. First penalty against Natoma, 2.22 to go. First quarter, Tigers up by six. They hand it off to Martinez right up the middle. Breaks the tackle. Carries half the team up to the 15-yard line and a gain of six. Alderson on the tackle. Good job by Lane, 187-pound junior. 61 tackles for the year, two interceptions, three fumble recoveries, one tackle for loss. But he's got a tough job there trying to, trying to stop that bulldozer from, uh, I think we got a timeout by Natoma in this case. Yeah, we'll take it with you. 155 to go first quarter. Tigers up by six. We're back after this on Smoky Hills PBS. Presentation of the Wild West Bowl Championship Game on Smoky Hills PBS is brought to you in part by... Programming on Smoky Hill Public Television is made possible in part by an underwriting grant from Nextech, providing the area with top-notch broadband, business technology, and advertising solutions. Nextech proudly supports the economic growth of rural communities. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium in Dodge City. Here on Smoky Hills PBS, it's the championship game of the Wild West Bowl, six-man state title game featuring the Natoma Tigers and the Cunningham Wildcat. The Toma with a six to nothing lead, and they have the ball third down and five at their own 15 yard line. And they have a timeout, so we're going to find out what Tyler Masters and Chris Brockman have up their sleeve because they're the brain trust now for the, the Toma Tigers. We'll see what they've got up their sleeve on, on a third down and third and five. 
There's a pitch back to Martinez. Be a He's pass. looking to throw it. Steps out of bounds. Stepped out of bounds at the 10. So he's going to lose five yards on the play. I guarantee you he was open. If he wouldn't have been out of bounds, uh, there might have been another score. He threw it up the field for Fry. Now the question is. And he threw it against like a little strong breeze too, Jeremy, didn't he? Yes, he did. Fourth down and 10. Looks like Natoma is going to punt for the second time here in the first quarter. Now back to Fry. Gets a nice low line drive kick that's going to bounce. And we'll get a nice roll for Natoma inside the 30. And we'll be down right about the 27 yard line. There we go. Cunningham Wildcats get the ball, first and 15. And Luke McGuire. Has got a tape job, and he's coming to the sideline and is going to be want to go in the ball game. He is still, uh, still limping, hobbling though. pretty noticeably. But he is probably going to get in his dad's ear and say, I'm, I'm ready to go. Lucas Hageman, the freshman, brings the play in from the sideline. First down and 15. <sighs> Trips to the near side for the Wildcats, trailing six to nothing. Back to pass to Weiss, throws it over the middle, nearly intercepted by Martinez. And we've got a flag on the play. Roughing the passer, probably. Let's see what the call. It is a roughing the passer that's going to go against Natoma and Jared Griffin. Fifteen yard penalty against the Tigers. And well, a first down for Cunningham. For Coach Tyler Masters, he said on the, the three defensive keys to win. Be aggressive, be physical, they have been. But using actually tackle technique. He didn't say nothing about penalties, but right now, penalties can hurt him. You can be aggressive, you can be physical, but you better be smart. First down and 15, the ball at the 37-yard line of Natoma. Deweese throws it out in the flat, catches made by Halderson, and he is going to be pushed out of bounds. Javon Lech Javon. with the tackle at the 31, 30, 31-yard line. Now you pick up a seven on the play. Yeah, Javon Leach, he's that 213-pound junior, plays outside linebacker. They had 53 tackles, two interceptions, four fumble recoveries. He pushed him out of bounds there for about a five-yard game. Six, call it. Second down and eight. Ball rests just outside the 30. Back to pass. Throws it out in the flat. Oh. Incomplete. Isaiah Reed. Uh, he was open. The intended receiver and could not hold on to it. Luke McGuire still working that. He's had uh, Isaiah Reed's been. He's the only senior they got on their squad, 130-pound senior. Uh, he's had 17 receptions for 579 yards, eight touchdowns this year. And Reed is, or excuse me, Luke McGuire is back out on the field. On this will be a stack formation. There's a pitch back to, Reed, to McGuire. He's going to throw it down the field. Coverage is out there. It's knocked down. Fry out there for Natoma, incomplete. And it's going to bring up fourth down. One of the things that's hard to teach young kids, he's a sophomore, but Jeremy, everybody wants to go for the Mary, Hail Mary type thing. You need it seven, eight yards. Why don't you send somebody deep and send somebody underneath that pass pattern? Just go short. Get your first down so you can keep the sticks moving. They need the 22 and a half for a first down on this play. Cunningham fans in front of us encouraging their team to make a play. And then Snap this, is low. In some trouble, DeWeese is wrapped up at midfield. Derek George in on the play for the Tigers. 
And it's a turnover on downs. And a loss of 12 yards on the play. With 108 to go in the first quarter, the Natoma offense back out on the field. Boy, and Luke McGuire just struggling right now. And he is not happy because he understands what the, his there. presence on the field means for this team. First down and 15 for Natoma. Martinez hands it off to Bright, who fumbles it. Now he's going to look for some running room, gets a block, cuts it up, and is going to be gang tackled and brought down. After a gain of three on the play, it'll bring up second down and 12. But at least he salvaged about an eight-yard loss into a two- or three-yard gain. So a great job by that freshman, Roy Bright, number two, 164-pound freshman. He's run the ball five times for 41 yards this year. But he's really in there for passing. He's had 15 touchdowns in there and two interceptions this year for the Natoma Tigers. Second down and 12. Natoma by six with the football. Back to pass Bright. Steps up. He's going to throw it up the field. Incomplete. Had a man. Yeah. He led Leach just a little bit too far. Devon was out there. Fourteen point eight seconds to go here in the first quarter. Third down and twelve for Natoma. The ball resting just outside the Cunningham thirty-six yard line. And they will be in the uh, kind of their spread formation now. They're not in a double wing. They're spread. Letch is split to the far to the near side, all the way out. Bright is going to throw it. He's got Letch out there. He underthrows the ball, and Letch is out of bounds, and that's going to be incomplete. I was going to say that was actually that was Fry out there. So it's going to bring up fourth down. Now that's number three. Their their numbers are pretty hard to read from here. Sometimes the three looks like an eight, vice versa. Except Price is really smaller than Devon is. Number eight. There's a little difference in the size. Fourth down. Tigers need the 24 for a first down. Bright's going to throw it under pressure. Dumps it up. It's intercepted. Intercepted. Holderson at the 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. Yep. Cunningham. And we're all tied up at six. That's a 50 yard interception return for a touchdown. Doug and Reed will attempt the extra point as we are at the end of the first quarter. Snap is low and in some trouble, and Reed throws it up. And the conversion is no good. So we have played one quarter here in Dodge City. We've got ourselves a good one, folks. We're tied at six on Smoky Hills PBS. Presentation of the Wild West Bowl Championship Game on Smoky Hills PBS is brought to you in part by... Programming on Smoky Hill Public Television is made possible in part by an underwriting grant from Nextech, providing the area with top-notch broadband, business technology, and advertising solutions. Nextech proudly supports the economic growth of rural communities. United is proud to be a part of your community, taking care of you so you can take care of what matters. GetUnited.com The Cunningham Courier www.cunninghamcourier.news Skyland Grain LLC Connecting our producers to the world Bethany College, Kansas Angel and Cook LLC, Natoma Fitzsimmons Insurance Agency Incorporated, Cunningham, Kansas
Welcome back to Memorial Stadium in Dodge City. We get ready to start the second quarter. We're all tied up at six. Jeremy McGuire, analyst Larry Jantz. It's the Wild West Bowl Championship game. Six-man football. Natoma and Cunningham. And man, what a what a fun ball game we've had so far. It just shows you what the penalties would do or an interception, a pick six right then, got the game tied. So now Cunningham kicks off to Natoma. Dagam Reed, it's going to be a pooch kick. It's going to be taken by the Tigers. Fumbled, but recovered over there on the far side. And it'll bring up first and 15 at the 30-yard line for Natoma. So we've seen the Tigers have some luck running the football. Their touchdown drive was a couple of big passes that got them down into scoring position. But then that Cunningham defense has, has held a couple times, three times, forced two punts, punts and then the interception. Hand off up the mid, middle to George. And he's going to pick up four yards on first down. Yep, give the old fullback a chance there. Be interesting to see how, since Natoma now has, they've been throwing a pretty good ball against the wind. They got a little breeze behind them now. It'd be interesting to see how Roy Bright, uh, that freshman quarterback, uh, throws the ball, him and Mark Caden. They're the two main ones that throw the ball for, uh, for the Natoma Tigers. Second down, 11. There's a pitch back to Martinez. He's going north and south. Martinez breaks a tackle. He breaks another tackle. Oh, my goodness. It has wrestled out of bounds at the 23-yard line. 23 yards on the carry. Yeah, Isaiah Reed, the oldest senior on Cunningham, happened to bulldog him down. He didn't tackle him down low. He would have probably broken the tackle and went on. But he bulldogged him down, saved the touchdown by Isaiah Reed, the 170-pound senior for the Cunningham Wildcats. He's had 10 hurries this year, 42 tackles, one interception, five sacks. First and 15 from the 24. There's George up the middle. He's going strong and hanging on for dear life as Lane Halter said and brings him down. As a quick hitter by the fullback, Derek George. And he's had 38 carries this year for 341 yards, four touchdowns. He's also passed the ball one time. Out of two, had two attempts, one successful, 55 yards. And he's also caught the ball one time for three yards. Again. So he's a little do-everything fullback for the Tigers. Gain is seven on that play. Brings up second down and eight. I formation to Toma. Get set. There's a pitch to Martinez. He's looking Bad. to throw it. Now he's going to run it. He's in trouble, and he is brought down. Isaiah Reed was there. Holding also Jack the Ruckel. No, and no, we've no, got no. a holding against Natoma. I'd be, I'd almost decline that. Because it's from the spot of the foul, block in the back. It's either going to be second down and 17, or it's going to be third down and about 14. So we'll see what the call is, what they decide to do, and I think they're going to decline it. Now, that's a good choice by Lance McGuire. It's going to be third down and long. So to bring up third down and 14 after the loss of six on the play. They need the nine-yard line for a first down. Bright is the quarterback. He'll take the snap from Ricky Mayberry. And it looks we like get. we're going to have a false start. Yeah. False start against Natoma. That moves them back three, five more yards. Be about third down what, and third nineteen. And Fourteen or no? Third and nineteen. Nineteen, yeah. They didn't teach add. you that good math in Cimarron. I, I think now they <laughs> had real good math in Cimarron. I was just a poor student. It wasn't wrong with the math teachers. <laughs> it's what they had to work with. Third and nineteen for Natoma. Martinez is going to pick it up. Looks to throw it deep down the field. Has a man out there overthrown. Barely. Is he hurt? 
Looks uh, like that was Fry that was out there just a little bit too far, and it's going to bring up fourth down. Like I said earlier, he's got some good wheels, though. Number three. He can, he can, uh, he can really get out there pretty good. So they need the nine yard line right now. They're sitting at the 28. Fourth down and a ways to go. There's a pitch to Martinez. He's going to look to run it. He lowers his shoulder, and he's going to be up into Dagham Reed, the freshman. Sticks his nose in there, takes him out at the legs, and it's going to be a pickup on the play the of your legs. five yards. But not nearly enough for a first down and a turnover on downs, and it goes back over to Cunningham. The Wildcat defense puts another hold on the field, Larry Jan. Yeah. Good job by Lance McGuire's team. Right then, now they turn the ball over, and his son comes out there, Gimpy. But Luke's out there again, probably be the tailback position. Trey DeWeese will be the quarterback. Seven you got Isaiah Regis center, the only senior on the team. 7.46 to go, first half. We're tied up at six. DeWeese throws it out in the flat. Oh, man. Javon Ledge put his foot in the ground and was driving towards Ooh. that ball, and that was close. There was about going to be a collision of two trains on the track going the wrong way. Almost. Natoma's not afraid to. Oh, they hit you. To hit, they're not afraid to play up close and tight on def pass defense. And Cunningham is not afraid to back down. They're not going to back That's down right. from it. Of course, on offense, he said, take care of the ball, be aggressive and make plays, and do your job. There's oh, a reverse. The reverse. Dagam Marie going to the far side. They have him lined up, and Caden Martinez brings him down inside the 20, back at the 18-yard line. A loss of six yards on the play. Natoma was not the least bit surprised on that play. Yeah, that little reverse didn't reverse didn't work for the Wildcats. Third down. <laughs> We're still tied at six. Natoma was on the board at the 503 mark of the first quarter on a four yard run by Martinez. Halderson, a fifty yard interception return at the last play of the first quarter. And that's what we've had so far scoring wise. McGuire throws it up out in the flat. It is tipped and incomplete. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Almost intercepted. And the unfortunate part right now for Cunningham is that second pitch to Luke McGuire with that bum ankle. They're not the Natoma defense is not nearly as scared of him. The timing and getting the out, getting out and running the football. I've kind of noticed that the timing and the rhythm of both teams is off, out of sync, a little bit. Their timing and their rhythm, the chemistry. Uh, both teams done a good job. Keep the other team off balance, basically. Fourth down and 20. Deweese kicked it away. It's a low-line driver. It's going to be taken by Lech. He's got a little bit of running room, lowers his shoulder, and we've got lots of flags out there on the play. When I say lots, not as many as that uh, blindside block earlier, but there's still quite a few. And this is not going to bode well for Natoma. Blocking the back against the Tigers, so they'll back it up 10 yards. Four penalties, 40 yards here in the first half for Natoma. They also had the pick six. So uh, mistakes have, have cost the Tigers here in this first half. The beauty about that one, though, that was on a punt, so it didn't cost them yards from their first and 15 on the series they're going to start. It just hurt them on field position. Yeah, when you set them back that far back from the stick, then it is real trouble. Yeah, that's right. So but first right now you still got first and 15, though, Jeremy. Of course, from right at the 35-yard line of Cunningham. So first 15. They don't get an illegal procedure. There's a handoff to Martinez looking right side. And uh -oh. he is brought down. 
They got it. And nice, that is, it looks like a horse collar tackle. You got the you got the umpire. You got the side judge here. Couldn't quite catch it with his uh, horse collar or. Horse it collar. is a horse collar, yeah. and that's going to be 15 yards. Boost Van Lunum is all over it. He's the white hat today. Long time, great coach and great official. So it's first down and 15. The ball rests the length of the football inside the 20-yard line as Natoma looks to regain the lead. So we're tied up at six. This ball is going to be a direct snap back to Martinez. Pitches it to Bright. Now Martinez is the lead blocker. And he is a big one and down to the 10-yard line. Roy Bright down to the 10. Again, a gain of 10 on the play. Well, that's a good game when you gain 10 yards on that first play. Second and five for first down. And you're only 10 yards away from pay dirt. 5.55 to play here in the first half. It's been a fairly quick moving first half with a 6-6 six to six score we have. Yeah, it has. Well, the play comes in from the brain trust from Chris Michelson and Tyler Masters. Chris Brockham, I mean. Had a... Ellis name in there for a minute. Second down and five. Martinez is stuck at the line of scrimmage, and he pitches it back to Bright. Bright to the end zone. What's the call? They Touchdown. Didn't. They didn't call it dead. Oh, my goodness. The presence of mind by Martinez to pitch it back, and it is a touchdown. A 10-yard run for Roy Bright. Well, he's been such a tough runner that you got to also honor how strong he is, how he gets that breaks out of tackles. I know the Cunningham crowd say, hey, he's dead. To let, let's uh, play, call him dead. Where is that? Call the play dead. And he just passed, passed it back to Bright. Two-point kick is up, short. and it is short. Short. No good. Ian Mayberry was not able to connect, but with 5.23 to go in the first half, Natoma back on top after a 10-yard touchdown run by Roy Bright. And, boy, Larry Jansen, we've seen a little bit of everything in this first yes, half. And we're not even to halftime yet. So oh, there's a lot of football this. left. We've played a quarter and a half. So both coaches getting everybody together. See Chris Brockelman having a discussion with his center Chris, over there on uh, the far side. Chris Brockelman, Ricky Mayberry. Assistant. Yeah, he's assistant coach up there. If you know, told me, you know, he's done a great job. He's a woodworking teacher. He's been a football, basketball, volleyball official for years. Coaching now. Uh, great guy. Great family guy. And I wouldn't want to pick a fight a with time. that guy in a dark alley either. No. Neither one of them. <laughs> it could be you and I against him, and we'd come out on the raw end of that deal. There's probably very few coaches understand from the front of a rule book to the end of a rule book as accurate and as knowledgeable as Chris Brockelman was in all the years I've refereed with him and seen him work at at different meetings we go to, area supervisor And, and the meeting. thing with Chris that I've noticed over the years, wherever he's been officiating, is he's he great, is consistent. Great, yeah. Consistent, consistent, and consistent. He's so, helped mentor many other young guys to get into the officiating, too, from the, because he's a student of the Fort Hayes Intramural Department with Ron Hag. Javon Letts to tee it up. And it's a low line drive kick that's going to roll. Luke McGuire will take it at the 15. Up the field, he is going to be brought down from behind. Derek George on the tackle up at the 29-yard line. So first down to yeah. 15 for Cunningham, down 12 to 6. Derek George only had 162 tackles this year, Jeremy. Only 162 tackles. That's couldn't, the most couldn't get any I've seen for quite a while. In couldn't get any time. more than that? No, well, he got one right then, too, so it's more than that. But three three interceptions, one fumble recovery, Derek George. 
those are those are senior. video game numbers, like very good video game numbers. <laughs> yeah. First and fifteen, Cunningham back at their own twenty-nine. Deweese over the oh, middle, nearly intercepted. intercepted. Boy, he expected Halderson to keep running that that route, and Halderson stopped it, and it was nearly picked. In the semifinal game that we got there, Javon Leach, he just almost had to intercept it. That's the one at the end of the game with 3.02 to go. When he intercepted, like a pinball machine, Bingo Bango Bongo worked his way all the way to the end zone. And that's where they won that game, 67-18 in the semifinal game. But here we go. Second, Second and down. 15. There's a pitch to McGuire. He's going to cut it up. He's going to look at running it. He is going to be brought down. Derek George back at the 27-yard line. That's a loss of two. It's third down and 17. <coughs> When you get when you get those two guys there playing that defense out there on the end, you got Jaron Griffin, 165 pound junior playing defensive line, and you got Derek George. That's the front two guys playing defensive ends, or what you might call it, because Natoma's in their two-two-two defense: two linebackers, two linemen, and two cornerbacks. Deweese is going to throw it. Steps up, throws it back to McGuire, who dropped it. And Natoma was ready for it. They had four guys there waiting on it. Yes, he did. They saw it coming. And they were right there. And it's going to be fourth down and long. And I think Luke tried to start running before he actually saw the ball in his hands. Which happens a lot of times. Not because he's a sophomore. Just because it just happens. Trying to do too, th too many things too quickly. 427 to go in the first half. It's Natoma 12, Cunningham 6. Snap is back. Deweese's kick is away. It is going to be somewhat Get returnable. From it. Get from it. Roy Bright just thought about it for a second. And then or Trace and Fry and was like, yeah, I don't think so. So first and 15 for Natoma. 12 to 6 lead for the Tigers. <coughs> 417 to go, huh? First and 15. From their own 28. Last time Natoma had the ball, Roy Bright finished it off on a 10 yard touchdown run. Only a minute and six seconds off the clock, off the game clock, and they have it back. Snap back to Martinez, hand off to Bright. He's going to run it, has some room, makes the man miss, blasted, and it's picked up In on there. the run. Oh, my. Derek George, touchdown Tigers. Look what I found. Merry Christmas. <laughs> A little bit early. Boy, and Bright got blasted. And George was sitting right there behind him. Ball goes up in the air, and there he goes. Did you see that hug? Bryce says, thanks for saving me. Yeah. He had to go thanks for, a big thanks for saving my backyard, yeah. backside. In the end, that goes Thank for you very much. 62 yards and a score for Derek George. I'm glad you're on my team, Roy Bright said. A little unconventional, but Natoma will take it, I'm sure. That hey. extra point is up, and that extra good. point – is good. Mayberry knocks that one through, and Larry Jantz with 4:02 to go in the first half. It's Natoma on top by a score of 20 to six, and boy, the Tigers have looked really good. Yes, they are. Well, their offensive the keys from Natoma was maintain blocks, execute plays, keep a level head. I guess you'd say that's part of the level head in there when you catch a fumble in the midair. And have the presence uh, of mind to say, hey, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah. And take it on in for that score. Great job by Derek George. If you're Lance McGuire right now, your star, star running back has a bum ankle. Is not nearly as dynamic the last few drives he's been in there. 
do you have to retool what you do? Do you put somebody else back there to potentially run the football? What do you do? It's a tough call for him. You know his son wants to be out there because it's father-son combination. But he, with those with the bad wheels, he's only going to use him. It's uh, maybe like to pass. You don't want him to run much. So you better you better let him have. Uh, to me, I think most of these high school kids, what I've seen lately, is they want to try to go for the the 50-yard bombs. Just go get your first down. Send somebody deep and then some fly to pass pattern underneath of them because they're open and nobody's passed the ball lately to a center. For, they're going to forget them. We'll pass it to somebody that normally ain't there and, and let Luke do that. Here's the kick by Letch, and that is going to be a low line driver that is bounds. going to no, stay in bounds. Two yard well, line. It was a tightrope, and, and McGuire just, just down. slides down at the nine yard line. Can't blame me for that. Nope. You were going to get tagged pretty hard right there. You just as well go down and let's play some offense. Now Cunningham has to figure out. But they're on the ball on the nine-yard line, first and 15 from the nine. They got to get clear out to the 24, almost 25-yard line for first down. And what the time is, uh, four minutes four exactly. Four minutes straight on the clock. Yeah. That shouldn't be an issue. An issue is how healthy is going to be Luke McGuire. Deweese is going to take the snap, fakes the handoff, on the roll, nearly picked. Yeah, great job. Derek man. George, again, we've said that name a lot lately. Yep. I mean, that would have been a tough pick for George, but he got his hands on it. He said, I like the last time I had my hands on the ball. Yeah. I'll try it this way. Second down and 15. Boy, that Natoma fan base on the far side. They are a little raucous right now. Doesn't have reason to be. Absolutely do. I think the whole town's here tonight. There's a pitch back to McGuire. Coming to the outside. Lowers his shoulder. Oh, my. He laid the wood on that play, well, he and he picked up five. For... He's a gutty kid. So third down and ten. And you saw uh, Trey DeWeese come over here and got the next play brought in by Coach Lance McGuire for this team. See what we're going to do here on third down and a long 11. Snap goes to DeWeese. He's, he's, he's got back, the ball. He's back to pass, and oh, it's intercepted. intercepted. Intercepted by Lynch, and he's pushed out of bounds. Leech. At the five. Playing linebacker. Looked familiar. I saw him do that a week ago, but last week it went in for a touchdown at the end of the game with 3.02 to go. Devon Leach. 213-pound junior, 52 tackles. Let's, I guess I should say. Two, intercep two interceptions and just got another one. One fumble recovery. And here we go, Jeremy. First and goal from the five. There's a handoff to George. He leans into the end zone for another Tiger touchdown. With 3.03 to go in the first half, Natoma leads it 26 to 6. They are a little bit excited on the east side of the field. And they have every reason to be. Maybe they can see if they can make two extra points in a row. Kicking, that is. That kick is up, and that kick is no good wide left. 26 to six is the score. Natoma has scored three touchdowns in the last two minutes and 20 seconds. Two minutes and 20 seconds. They scored with 523 to go in the second to take the lead. They scored with 402 to go in the second, and they just scored again with 303 to go in the second quarter. That's pretty good efficiency. That's pretty good efficiency. Offense and, and defensive side of the ball. If you are Cunningham, 
right now you have to figure something out. Number one, you can't give the ball back to Natoma deep nope. in this territory. Number two, you've got to find a way to get the ball down the field and give yourself an opportunity to score some points. I think it might be heaven and all. I, I love the grittiness by Luke McGuire, the coach's son. But at some point, if you don't, you're not 100% healthy, uh, it's tough to find a spot. What can he do efficiently? And uh, maybe it's just a step back and pass because uh, he's still running on some wheels that ain't quite healthy. Yeah, and that's a tough decision to make. I mean, that's hard to make that decision. He's getting his arm wrapped right now. You can get some nice uh, burns and scrapes and cuts on this artificial turf. Javon Letch to kick it off. It's a, well, that is a interesting way that that ball is winding there, and it's going to be picked up by Lucas Hageman. He wanted to see if it go out of bounds. He didn't think he was going to make it there before the guys uh, come down and recovered it. So he finally picked the ball up and then paid the price. First and 15 from the 20. Cunningham with the football back down by 20. 20 unanswered by the Natoma Tigers. Luis pitches it back to McGuire. He's going to air it out down the field. It is intercepted. Yeah. Oh, they're going to say of out of bounds. Oh, it looked like Martinez had his feet in bounds on that one. As I'm looking up at the scoreboard right now. Ooh. Close. I think Cunningham might have caught a break on that one. They could use a break there right now, though. Things oh, yeah, have not yeah, been going their way. That's the understatement of the year, or this game at least. Second down, 15. There's a pitch back to McGuire. He has some running room. He's going to run it to the far side, and he is going to go down yeah, at, the four, five, at the 30. It? It'll make it third and five, and he saw Caden Martinez <laughs> barreling in and – he was smart not to have any part of that. Yeah, you don't – you're not going to get anywhere doing – taking that kid on head, on head on out in the open field like that. Third down, five. Back to Martinez. Or excuse me, there's a pass over the middle, nearly intercepted. And almost caught again. And guess who? Martinez. Caden Martinez. Caden. So incomplete pass, it's going to bring up fourth down and five. And I think Cunningham's going to take a timeout. Yeah. We'll take it with you. 2.16 to go, first half. All in the Toma right now. We're back after this on Smoky Hills PBS. Presentation of the Wild West Bowl Championship Game on Smoky Hills PBS is brought to you in part by... Programming on Smoky Hill Public Television is made possible in part by an underwriting grant from Nextech, providing the area with top-notch broadband, business technology, and advertising solutions. Nextech proudly supports the economic growth of rural communities. Back at Memorial Stadium in Dodge City, the championship game of six-man football here in the state of Kansas, the Wild West Bull on Smoky Hill's PBS, the Natoma Tigers right now with a 26-6 lead with 2.16 to play in the second quarter. It's fourth down and five for Cunningham. The ball at the 30. They need the 35 for a first down. Pitch back to McGuire. He's going to air it out down the field. Has a man out there and incomplete. And I think the Cunningham fans wanted a penalty. There was none to be had. It's going to be uh, an incomplete pass. He, he come back there, swung it back there, got this, pulled his arm out of the way from my and, angle. And the Good thing, defensive play. In the change in pass interference, it used to be if you didn't turn around and look for the ball, regardless you if you're right there, it's defensive pass interference. Now. now you can face guard. So, as long as you don't touch him. First down and 15 
for Natoma. They lead it by 20. Looking to add to that right here. Right, pitches it back to Martinez. Oh, look at DeWeese. And that is going to be knocked backwards. Trey DeWeese makes the play, and that's going to be a loss of... a little bit before that, though. A loss of six on the play. <laughs> Had a little help from Isaiah Reed to finish him off. Yes, he did. And Isaiah Reed had 42 tackles this year, five sacks, one interception, but 10 hurries. And that was a great big sack, uh, sack for a loss, a tackle for a loss right then. Because it don't happen all the time against Caden Martinez, but great job by Isaiah Reed, the only senior on the Cunningham team. Second down, 21, and a timeout in the Toma. So we'll take that one with you as well. 123 to go here in the first half. We're back after this timeout on Smoky Hills PBS. Presentation of the Wild West Bowl Championship Game on Smoky Hills PBS is brought to you in part by United is proud to be a part of your community. Taking care of you so you can take care of what matters. GetUnited.com The Cunningham Courier, www.cunninghamcourier.news Skyland Grain, LLC, connecting our producers to the world. Bethany College, Kansas. Angel and Cook, LLC, Natoma. Fitzsimmons Insurance Agency, Incorporated, Cunningham, Kansas. Back at Memorial Stadium in Dodge City, 26 to nothing. Natoma, or six, excuse me, Natoma on top. 123 to go, second down. And 21 on Smoky Hills PBS. Boy, Luke McGuire is playing a rather deep safety right now, just off of your screen. He is uh, a solid 20 yards off the ball right now. And what's the flag? We're going to have a false start. Yeah. So back in the tome up, five more. Let's make it second down and 26. Yeah. Well, if you're Natoma, you pick up, try and pick up a few here. Bright throws it out towards the sideline. That thing hangs up for a decade, and it's going to be caught near the original line of scrimmage. Javon Letch on the catch. Did he get out of bounds and stop the he clock? He did get out of bounds. That's right down at the 30, so that's going to be a gain of 11 on the play. It'll bring up third down and oh, 16. 15. 15 and maybe a couple of inches. Really? Not the length of the football even? 15 plus? No, nope, not the length of the football. Shorter than that. Here we go. Minute 15 to play here in the second quarter. Martinez drops the football, pitches it back to Bright. Bright's looking. He says, let me just run it. Gets caught up a little bit, in some trouble, and he's down. Lane Fourth Alderson down. on the tackle, a loss of a yard on the play. I would say this play is going to have Caden Martinez won the football this time. Yep, 46 seconds. I imagine they will take have it down. The, have the ball go to uh, snap it back to Bright. Turn around, pitch it back to number 22, Caden Martinez. And let him ha pass the ball to Javon. Or number three, Fry. They are going I formation. They snap it back. Martinez looking to throw it. Now he's going to look to run it. No. Nope. He's going to throw it backside. He has a man open. It's Javon Lynch. Touchdown, Natoma. I he has you. wide open. And the Tigers add to their lead, and it's 32 to 6. And there was nobody within 20 yards from him. I saw that play last week. 
and I knew at some point in time we was going to see it. A 30-yard 30 30 yard touchdown pass. What did I tell you? They're going to get the ball to Roy, <sighs> right? Going to turn and give it to Martinez, and bingo. Extra uh, point kick, kick is oh, off the, the crossbar. Post. No good, crossbar. but with 12.7 seconds left to go here in the first half, it has been all Natoma. The Tigers lead at 32-6, to six and Cunningham was ready for that pass to Trace and Fry. They were not ready for the backside on that touchdown. You got that right. Yes, sir. -y. Well, if you're Cunningham, you have 12.7 seconds to do something. Also, if you're Cunningham, you're thinking about what are we going to talk about at halftime to change the course of this ball game. They've been outscored 26 to nothing here in the second quarter. Uh, it's uh, Lance is in all these 26 years of coaching. He's got his hands full on this one at halftime. McGuire is back deep for the Wildcats. Javon Lech will tee it up for Natoma. Low line driver, Halderson will cover it up. At the 25 yard line, it's first and 15 there for the Wildcats. So if you're Cunningham, do you try something here, Larry Jam? You take a chance. Well, uh, it's going to be probably Luke trying to throw the ball to somebody, one of these receivers on this side. And he's going to air it out. He has a good arm, throws it up the field. Man's out there. It's complete. It's caught at the 28-yard line in the timeout by Cunningham. So they put themselves in a position – was, to try was for that the Lucas end zone. to caught that? 32? Who caught it? Yep. That is correct. Lucas, he's a 145-pound freshman. He's had uh, 18, 18 catches for 260 yards and eight touchdowns this year. So pretty good job by Lucas Hageman, and that was a heck of a catch going right down the turf and rugging that in there. Number 32. He's also carried the ball four times. For 14 yards this year. But uh, that was a good reception right then. That says here, one reception, six yards, and a TD this year. So 5.1 seconds to go here in the first half. Cunningham with the ball on the Natoma 28-yard line. They'll spread everybody out. Halderson will be split to the top side. It to might the bottom be, uh, side is Hegeman. What do you think? Hook and ladder. Uh, hook and ladder. Catch it quick. Pitch it back. Well, they, you could potentially hook and ladder it to Dagum Reed, who's in the slot on the near side. Back to pass. McGuire throws it up the field. It is intercepted by the Tigers. Trayson Fry looking for some blockers. He's got some blockers, and he's going to be upended and out of bounds at the 28-yard line. So an interception will end the first half. Pretty good job by Trayson Fry, the 137-pound senior. 35 tackles, five interceptions. He's had at least one today. And he also had a safety this year. So we are at halftime. 32 to 6 is the score. Natoma on top. We'll be back with your second half after this timeout on Smoky Hills TBS. 
Presentation of the Wild West Bowl Championship Game on Smoky Hills PBS is brought to you in part by... Programming on Smoky Hill Public Television is made possible in part by an underwriting grant from Nextech, providing the area with top-notch broadband, business technology, and advertising solutions. Nextech proudly supports the economic growth of rural communities. United is proud to be a part of your community, taking care of you so you can take care of what matters. GetUnited.com The Cunningham Courier, www.cunninghamcourier.news Skyland Grain LLC, connecting our producers to the world. Bethany College, Kansas. Angel and Cook LLC, Natoma. Fitzsimmons Insurance Agency, Incorporated, Cunningham, Kansas. And welcome back to Memorial Stadium in Dodge City at halftime. It is all Natoma right now. The Tigers with a 32 to 6 lead over Cunningham in the championship game of the Wild West Bowl. Six-man state title here in the state of Kansas. It's now time for our halftime stats, brought to you by the Nenisca Valley Bank in Cunningham, Kansas. First for Cunningham, six points on the board for the Wildcats. 49 rush yards, 84 passing yards for a total of 133 yards. Two turnovers for Cunningham, three penalties for 30 yards for the Wildcats. For Natoma, 32 points on the board for the Tigers, 126 yards on the ground, 107 yards through the air, 233 total yards, one turnover, and five penalties for 45 yards. Again, your score at halftime, Natoma 32, <laughs> Cunningham 6. We're back with your second half kickoff right after this timeout on Smoky Hills PBS. <laughs> Back at Memorial Stadium in Dodge City on Smoky Hills PBS, Jeremy McGuire along with Larry Jantz. And it is the, the uh, six-man state championship game, the Wild West Bowl, the Natoma Tigers <coughs> in control by a score of 32-6. to six. And, Larry, Cunningham has a lot of work to do here in the second half. Yeah, Coach Lance McGuire's keys to defense to win a game, get some turnovers. Well, he sure needs some turnovers now. Instead of giving them away on pass interceptions, he needs to get some turnovers on the other side of the ball, be aggressive and make tackles. Do your job. That's his key is the defense. And on the main, maintaining, of course, an offense, you know. Uh, hell, he he wanted to, uh, of course, control the ball, take care of the ball, be aggressive, make plays, and do your job on offense. They need a lot of scores in a hurry. And then play doggone good defense and make some doggone good tackles. Well, they have, they have the ability to do it. Yes, they do. How healthy are they? They would be 9-0 if they didn't, would they? No, you know, you don't become nine and zero on accident. So Natoma set to kick it off. Javon Letch will tee it up. And the six-two junior will get ready to kick it off. Ball is in the air. It is going to check up and go out of bounds. And so it will be. Cunningham football in pretty good field position for the Wildcats. And I think once some re-kick it. Yep. Lance McGuire says, let's do that one again. <coughs> With a five-yard penalty and then go again. Sixth <coughs> penalty of the night against Natoma. And here we go. Low line driver. It bounces off of Cunningham. Off of Trey DeWeese. 
and it is Natoma football. And what Cunningham did not want went wrong on the first play. By having a re-kick, they thought they might have a good pizzance to run it back. back, and all of a sudden, bingo, turnover. Great, could have had great field position. It just, it just didn't work out for them. Things have went from bad to worse for the Wildcat. Now that Natoma is getting squared away for an offensive possession up 26 points, just underway here in the second half. Bright is going to take the snap. And he's going to do a little shovel pass to Martinez. Goes right side, breaks the tackle. He's still on his feet. Caden Martinez cuts it back inside the 10. It's a touchdown. Natoma on the board. Caden Martinez from 42 yards out. And it's 38 to 6. My goodness, they are rolling. He's pretty impressive. He's like a bulldozer. And he's got big tires, big thighs, and he runs right through people. And they will kick the extra point. 15 seconds in the third quarter. The kick good. is up, and the kick is good. 9.45 to go in the third. It is a 34-point lead for the Natoma Tigers. And boy, Lance McGuire needs to circle the wagons real quick and just have his team. I mean, you're, not, you're down by 34. You can't get it back all at once. You know, there's no 34-point plays. You've just got to do it one play at a time and I think that's probably what he's telling those guys like you gotta more you gotta ways take it one play at a time yeah more ways than one Jeremy the Tigers have declawed the Wildcats yeah it has uh, been there uh, they've got declawed in every which way by turnovers that's the main thing uh didn't hurt didn't help any why the coach's son getting hurt early on leg injury like this because he's not at full strength he's lucky to even be out there uh, he's going to be out there, looks like, on a kickoff return right now, Luke McGuire. But it's not a pleasant uh, game for uh, Eric Kirshen and Lance McGuire, the coaching uh, gurus from the Cunningham Wildcats. Not right now. Well, Javon Letch will kick it off again for the Tigers. Or excuse me, that is Fry that's kicking it off. That's a line driver. It goes straight out of bounds, about the 31, I believe. Better take the ball here. Yeah, I'm guessing they won't have him re-kick this one. Going to kick it again? So another five-yard penalty against Natoma. Now Cunningham with the football back. The Wildcats trailing by 34. It's 40 to 6. And they have the traditional I formation. They've been running a spread most of the time. So it gives the gives their offense kind of like a an RPO, a run pass option. So uh yeah, they're still coming out in the spread offense again. We've kind of run it the whole game this year. I mean, this whole game here against Natoma. Deweese to throw it over the middle. Has Isaiah Reed, and he is brought down on the far side. Fry on the tackle. Pick up of seven on the play. Bring up second down and eight. And that's a good job because uh, Isaiah Reed's the center, and that's one of the first few times we've seen him go to the center on the deal. But he's had 17 receptions this year. For 579 yards, eight touchdowns. So, good strategy by Lance McGuire. Just needs more of it. Deweese to throw it. Under some pressure. Fumbles Fumble it. the ball. It's picked up by Natoma. Who it looks it? like Derek Javon. George, I believe, 
Yeah, Derek George on the recovery. Yeah, Derek George recovers the fumble. And it's first down and 15 from the 39-yard line. Natoma is just pinning their ears back right now defensively and offensively. Anything's open right now with a 34-point lead. You can do about anything you want. A, you can try about anything you want You're going to see a heavy right dose here. of the fullback and Martinez. You watch it. <clears throat> Bright hands it off to George, and he's going to be – down to the 31-yard line, a gain of eight yards on the play. Dagum Reed on the tackle. He had 38 carries this year for 341 yards and, and nine touchdowns on the ground. Derek George playing fullback for the Toma Tigers. And he is a bull, 192-pound senior. Second and seven from the 31. There's a Inside pass trigger. and a reverse. And here they go. Fry is going to be knocked out of bounds. And we got a flag coming in from the umpire. And we might have a block in the back. We've had a few of them. Yes, we have. And that's exactly what we have. Ten-yard penalty against Natoma. Maybe the only thing the Tigers haven't done right today is in the penalty department. Eight penalties for 65 yards. They'll mark it back. And we're not done yet. From the spot of the foul. And so it's going to bring up second down and 11. There's a pitch out to Martinez. Look out. Martinez breaks a tackle. He's on the run. Martinez cuts it back. Touchdown, Tigers. Yes, sir. Caden Martinez from 35 yards out, and it is 46 to 6. They turned the bulldozer loose. And you're, and you're talking about an agile bulldozer, not just any bulldozer. No. A tiger bulldozer. Here comes the extra point kick. It is blocked. Block. Forty-six to six, with eight eleven to go here in the third quarter. So Cunningham is going to try and mount some type of a some type of offense. They just have not been able to muster much. And defensively, they haven't had an answer for Natoma basically since about midway through the first quarter. And you got you got to hold on to the ball. You can't be fumbling and turn the ball over, which that's what has happened to them. They're running a little gun shy now. They're not winning the line of scrimmage. The Tigers have done a good job on both sides of the ball winning the line of scrimmage. Close taking advantage, maybe knocking the ball loose, getting a fumble, getting an interception. Uh, a couple of Unusual plays you've seen, just like you punch it out, you know, and they tuck it like that there, and Derek George gets the ball, fumble. That kick off that one time. So nothing's went right for Lance McGuire and his Cunningham Wildcats. So Natoma with the 40-point lead will be kicking off. They've scored 14 points in the first one minute and 49 seconds of this second half. And right now have scored 40 unanswered. For the Tigers is going to be taken. A little bit of running room for Reed. 
Out of bounds and go flag. Gonna get Fry. Here comes the call from the officials. They're gonna get Nicholas Reset and I think Fry for a hit after bound, out of bounds. Much less. But I he guess. but it looked like that the hit was on his own player. Like it didn't, I don't think it, but we'll see what the call is from the official. Face mask. Oh, really? So a 10 yard penalty against Cunningham. So what looked like a good return. So much for that. You call it a 10 yard penalty. But the in essence, got in in essence it's, it's they huh? lost they lost almost twenty yards on that play because of where they put it's enforced from the spot of the foul, not where the ball goes out of bounds. So first down and fifteen for the Wildcat. Deweese with the pitch back to McGuire. He's gonna look to throw it. Now he's gonna step up and run it, and he's gonna be buried at the line of scrimmage. He's gonna Get no gain on the play. It's going to bring up second down and 15. Luke McGuire had 54 yards in his first two carries total. Right now he is at five, six carries for 67 yards. That's not the, not the right recipe for success. Not what the doctor ordered as a prescription. No, it is not. Second down and 15. There's the pitch back. McGuire looking to throw it. Throws it over the middle. Has his man. And the catch is made. Hageman on the receiving yeah. end. And he's going to pick up about seven. It'll bring up third and eight. Yep. He's a freshman, 145-pound freshman, Lucas Hageman. And had four carries for 14 yards this year. And and then one reception for six yards and a touchdown. He gained about six or seven yards then, but now it's third down and a good eight. There's the pitch back. McGuire airs it out up the field. It is tipped and incomplete. Martinez had his hands on it. Tip drill, like the old famous trip drill, wasn't it? Dagum Reed had a chance to get his hands on it too. Now we got fourth down. And what did you call that? Long fourth eight? and eight. Fourth and eight from the 27. I and would look for Natoma just to pin their ears back and see what they can do. Yeah. Lane Halderman, Halderson, excuse me, brought the play in, 187-pound junior from Coach Lance McGuire. So we'll see what he's got dialed up, fourth and eight. Deweese is going to throw it. Here's it out up the field. It's caught. They needed it. Down the sideline, Holderson. Is that a touchdown? It is. Score, Cunningham. They needed Deweese it. Deweese from 53 yards. Yes, sir. 53 yards, and boy, did the Cunningham Wildcats need that one. Nice pass by DeWeese. Good old left-handed quarterback. Brings back a few memories. And now they're going to try to kick for the extra point. Kick it for a two-point extra point, Jeremy. Extra points ain't been either team's favorite today. Doug and Reed to kick it, DeWeese to hold it, and that and ball is blocked. And got blocked. So the extra point is no good. So it's 6.20 to go in the third quarter, 46 to 12, as Cunningham gets back in at Larry Jantz. They little, needed that. I mean, they had to have that. Oh, God, yes. If they, they, don't, if they don't get that, you give Natoma a short field. So that's fourth down and eight, and you get a 53-yard touchdown. Yes, yeah, so you don't dial it up any better than that by Lance McGuire and Eric Kirshen, the assistant coach. Right here in the Wild West Bowl championship game. 
in Dodge City, Kansas. The last year we'll have it this format because Keisha is having the six man football along with eight and 11 man next year. So uh, it won't be under the same format. It's been, I mean, six man football. I'm really happy that it's taken off in the state of Kansas because you're giving kids a chance to play that otherwise might not have that opportunity. Well, heck, when Cunningham started, you know, they used to have kids go over to Kingman and play with them. About four years ago or whatever, they had volunteers that create their bleachers, make their press box for them, and then they started their own team. And now they are reached at 9 0, and they're in the championship game this year. That's incredible. So hats off to the whole Cunningham community. Dagam Reed with the. Uh, I think a little got a little a little eager. Yep. We're gonna have a team. legal procedure, hmm? and it it's might. gonna be a re-kick it from the 35. I think Natoma would have just been pleased to take the result of that play. So it actually works out, even though it's five yards further back, it works out in Cunningham's favor at this point. But we've seen crazy things happen on kickoff so far today. Yes, we have. Here we go. And there he goes. Javon Lech out of bounds at the 26-yard line. You kick it to me, he says, I think I know what to do with it. Luke McGuire on the tackle, and, man, he got up. He is hurting. So at the 26-yard line, first and 15 for Natoma. Tigers leading 46-12, to 12, a 30-point lead. 34 points. 26 at halftime. So first and 15 from the 26. Roy Bright up under center. Going to pitch it out to Martinez. Cuts it up. He's still on his feet. Gets to the edge. Look out. Martinez is gone. He breaks one tackle, gets to the outside, and goes the distance. From 27 yards out, and it is 25-yard score. 52 to 12 from 27 yards out. Wow. Breaks one tackle, gone. This That's is, his fourth uh, touchdown today, and he's also thrown for one. It's kind of visions of what I got to see live a week ago in the semifinal game. He just would not be denied more ways than one. Running the ball, passing the ball, breaking tackles. And here, just comes, break the, down. here comes the two-point conversion kick. It, it is up, good. and it, it is good. good. 54-12. to 12, It is a 42-point lead for the Natoma Tigers with 6.06 to go here in the third quarter. So they come right back and answer the touchdown from Cunningham with one more of their own. And like Caden Martinez, <laughs> you can't come at him with one guy. You have to gang tackle that young man. And it's still hard to do. I know, and I told you about some of that ahead of time, and you didn't really want to believe me, did you? Truth oh, I didn't, I didn't disbelieve you. I've, seen, I've heard about him. You're not the first one, know, to, tell but, me. You're uh, not the first one to tell me about this kid. <laughs> I've heard I've heard a lot about him. So just to see it in person though, I mean he's impressive. It is impressive. So it'll be a kickoff for the Tigers with a 42 point lead. It just shell shocks you when you're nine and no Cunningham and things haven't went well, then uh your whole psyche, your whole uh mental attitude you just you get down and it's tough to stay up stay positive which you need to be and you need to have something good happen here but it's just human nature that it happens that way unfortunately uh, there's not much the coach can do 
Because he's not out there playing. Javon Lutz to kick it off. But I don't look for this here. The Tigers. Kickoff to be the be a big one. But hey, that's one of the better ones down the middle. Better pick it Wire up. Going go out of bounds the sideline and lets it roll out of bounds and <coughs> out of bounds at the nine. I would imagine they will have him re kick it. Either re kick it or take it at the thirty five. Coach is making the decision, I guess. I'll take it on the 25. 25. So first and 15 at the 25-yard line for the Wildcat. And Cunningham needs to answer Natoma Tigers back real quick like. And they need multiple ones. Yes, they, they I do. Mean, they, multiple, but they're on the verge of, of, of a mercy rule right now. That's true. Absolutely true. First and 15, Cunningham. Deweese, they'll have trips to the top side. Yeah. Deweese and McGuire are back there. Deweese will throw it out in the flat. Catch is made by Dagam Reed. Still on his feet and is brought down out of bounds up near midfield. And very near. Lucas Hageman was very near a uh, yes. offensive pass interference right there. So it'll bring up second down and three, a gain of 12. We got trips now on this have side four, now. They have quads four. to this side. So not every day you see this formation. They're going to have one guy go. No, I thought. Deweese is guy. in trouble. Throws it up the field. Hageman with the catch and a first down. He'll pick up five yards. 32 caught it. Hey, uh, Lucas Hageman. Part of that this was a deception time thing. Get four of them out here and then uh, go the other way. Yeah, go the other way. Take it to the. Well, and Hegeman, Hegeman came on a drag across the middle yeah, of I the did. field. But, you know, when you're looking at what is obvious man on man to man, that's a long ways to run to cover somebody across the middle of the field. Deweese throws it to McGuire. It's a double pass. There's nobody there. No. He's just trying to get rid of it. There was nobody. There was not a receiver within 15 yards. Timeout. It'll bring up second down. Uh, the officials are talking. You got to wonder. That's got to be a. That's got to be an intentional grounding, doesn't it? Well, no. I think it's out. They're going to say probably out of the tackle box, out there playing, and. and uh, no, nope. oh, it is going to be intentional grounding. Yeah, you're right. Because I don't, Good call. I don't think I didn't think he was going to call it. But when they got that powwow going out there, it had a little zebra convention. They talked it over, and Bruce Van Loon in the white hat, intentional grounding, move it back five. And I think it's loss of down. Yep. So a five-yard penalty plus loss of down. Plus a loss of down. So it brings up second and twenty. Yes. With five thirty to go here in the third quarter. Natoma leading 54 to 12. And they're at big old spread formation right now. There's a pitch back to Luke McGuire. He's under some he's pressure. In trouble. Gonna line it up and he's uh -oh. hit. It's Look out, it is incomplete. Oh. Javon Letch Javon. saw the end zone. Yes, he did. Before he caught the football. Good pressure over there by Derek George and Luke McGuire doing everything he could just to get rid of that football. And it was a lame duck. And Javon wished he would have caught it because he was going to prance to that north end zone. 
That would have been, for him, a fairly exciting way to end the football game, I suppose, if he was able to accomplish that. Hey, that's how he did it against Iceland last week. Third down and 20 now for the Wildcats. McGuire over the middle, incomplete. And it's going to bring up four. No, we got a flag on the play. Uh -oh. Was that? We're going to have pass interference against Natoma. That's the case. It'll be a 15-yard penalty, and it'll make it third down and short. And it is, you're, we're probably hear a little bit of screaming from the near side because it's not an automatic first down. No, it's great. That's on number 11, Ian Mayberry had that penalty outside linebacker. 159 pound junior. Had 41 tackles this year, three interceptions, and then got, got a pass interference call that time. So it's third down. And five, let's so say. So instead of third and 20, it's third down and five. And timeout by Cunningham. We'll take it with you. 5.15 to play in the third. All in the Toma. We're back after this on Smoky Hills PBS. See Connor Nickel and old Everett down there on the sideline taking pictures and Connor Nichols probably doing that 1A volleyball deal today. Come back in 10. Three, two, and one. Back at Memorial Stadium in Dodge City, the Wild West Bowl Championship game, six-man state football. Natoma with a 54-12 lead over Cunningham. Cunningham just got the benefit of a defensive pass interference against the Tigers. So instead of fourth and 20, the Wildcats now face third down and five. And Luke McGuire is off the field. Pitch back to DeWeese. Now running the football is Hageman, and he is in trouble. And he is brought down, and they will mark him at the 32-yard line, and it's a loss of four on the play. It's fourth down and nine. Good pressure. Had good, had good coverage downfield. There wasn't anybody open. So the Natoma Tigers did a good job that way defending their receivers. But now what uh, Trey DeWeese has brought in to play from the coach. So we got fourth down and good fourth eight down and nine. And about eight. Yeah. McGuire's going to look down the field. He it's complete. It. I think he got first Needed eight. He got nine. That's yeah. a first down for the Wildcats. And they needed that one. Great call, great pass, great catch, and way to get out of bounds and one yard beyond what you needed. First and 15 now from about the, uh, what, 22-yard line. You know, the crazy thing is, is Halderson was open down the field, too. Yeah. But he wanted the sure thing. First That's and smart. 15. That's smart. McGuire's going to pass it back. He's got something going with DeWeese, and he's going to be hit and dropped. Good open field tackle. Yep, good open field tackle. And it's going to bring up second down and 10. Ball just, just inside the 28-yard line. Wire throws it over the middle, incomplete. 
Uh, the receiver was Jack Ruckel. So you've got Casey Conlon out there. Uh, now 159-pound junior. He's playing defense. He had 42 tackles. One. He was covering that receiver right there. Had a good job. Conlon, 42 tackles and intercepting this year. Yeah. Not being prognosticators, but if you look at these two teams and fast forward a year from now, they could be seeing each other again. Deweese, back to pass, throws it up the field. It is intercepted. Intercepted uh, over here on the near side. Javon Letch at the... Six yard line and then back over to Natoma with 328 to play in the third quarter. That is the fourth turnover of the ball game by Cunningham. And that is a recipe for disaster. That's true. Again, we say it not to sound like a broken record, but at any level, that's a recipe for disaster. Yes, it is. First and 15 from the six. Will Natoma do a pitch right again for Martinez? Oh, yeah, look oh, they're going to go right up the middle to George. George breaks a tackle. He's going to have a first down. He needed 15, got 16. George over 100 yards, 109 exactly on the, on the day. Six 101 carries, yards, huh? Six carries, 109 yards. 109. Not bad for a fullback, is it? No. Of course, he got 62 of those after on a re, on a fumble that he recovered and took their distance. That's right, but they all count. The, the stat book won't look won't look any different. No, of course these numbers unofficial. They're my numbers. So first probably, and fifteen they might be more official than what if somebody else get. There's Martinez. He's going to cut it back. Going to be hit and brought down. He's going to lose a yard, lose a couple yards on the play. Second down, 17. Ball right at the 20-yard line. Two twenty to go here in the third quarter. Roy Bright will bring the play in from the sideline. They're going to have to hustle up a little bit. Nine seconds yeah, they left. Wouldn't, they didn't get the signal right from either Tyler Masters or Chris Brockleman. So he went over there to get a little closer. Here's the pitch to Martinez. To He's looking for the edge. He's got the edge. He's in the open. Still going. Martinez on his feet and tripped up. Ruckel with the tackle inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 36 34. yards on the carry. And 34 is the one that saved it. Jack Ruckel, he was their leading tackler for them. He's intense. Jack, his leadership is shared uh, by his whole team, but he's pretty intense. He's the one that saved that touchdown. And a timeout. Jack Ruckel. Timeout, Minotoma will take it with you. 153 to go in the third. Tigers 54, Wildcats 12. We're back after this on Smoky Hill PBS. Presentation of the Wild West Bowl Championship Game on Smoky Hills PBS is brought to you in part by... Programming on Smoky Hill Public Television is made possible in part by an underwriting grant from Nextech, providing the area with top-notch broadband, business technology, and advertising solutions. Nextech proudly supports the economic growth of rural communities. Back at Memorial Stadium in Dodge City, the Toma Tigers on the doorsteps of closing this one out if they can put a touchdown on the board here as they lead by a score of 54-12 to in the championship game of the Wild West Bowl. First and goal from the 14. George up the middle. Five yards down to the nine. Got down to what, the nine yard line? 278 yards on the ground tonight for Natoma. Not too bad of a day, is it? And that's only a 100, 107 right. through the year. Oh, uh -huh. 
385. There's Martinez. He'll go right side. He's stacked up. Picked up four more down to the five. And I think a host of Wildcats finally got him to the turf. Roy Bright over to the sideline. Getting the play call from his head coach. Yeah, that was Javon Leach wasn't it? over there. John Leach. Bringing the play in from Tyler Masters and Chris Buckelman. Third down and goal from the five. George stumbles. Regains its balance. Touchdown! Natoma, you have a state champion. Game over. 60 Keep to 12. Helmet. Keep your cool. Do they have to do the conversion? No. It's over. It's an, it, that ball game's over. 60 to 12. The Natoma Tigers are state champs. Derek George from five yards out. And man, that crowd from Natoma is making some noise. Natoma wins it by a score of 60 to 12. The two teams will shake hands as they come across the field here in Memorial Stadium. <laughs> oh man, what uh, what a performance by the Tigers, Larry yes, Jant. They just wouldn't be denied, and they took advantage of all the air. I mean, there wasn't much that Cunningham could do. They shot themselves the foot many times by turnovers, pass interceptions. Could never get a consistency going. Man. Tigers had an answer for everything they tried to do. There was no stopping them tonight. Natoma wins it by a score of 60 to 12. They finished their season undefeated at 10 and 0. 9 and 0. And we'll be back with more from Memorial Stadium when we return on Smoky Hills PBS. Presentation of the Wild West Bowl Championship Game on Smoky Hills PBS is brought to you in part by United is proud to be a part of your community. Taking care of you so you can take care of what matters. GetUnited.com The Cunningham Courier, www.cunninghamcourier.news Skyland Grain, LLC, connecting our producers to the world. Bethany College, Kansas Angel and Cook, LLC, Natoma. Fitzsimmons Insurance Agency, Incorporated, Cunningham, Kansas. Back at Memorial Stadium in Dodge City. 60 to 12, your final score in the six man state title game, the Wild West Bowl here in Dodge City on Smoky Hills PBS. And it was all Natoma early, all Natoma late as the Tigers win it. To move to 9-0, I stand corrected, on the season. Looking at the scoring in today's ball game, the two touchdowns for Cunningham came from Lane Halderson. One, a 50-yard interception return, and the other, a 53-yard touchdown catch on fourth and eight. The rest was Natoma. Caden Martinez. Scored on a four-yard run with 5.03 to go in the first quarter. Roy Bride on a 10-yard run at the 5.23 mark of the second. Derek George, a 62-yard run with 4.02 to go in the second. George again on a five-yard run with 3.03 to go in the second period. And then Javon Lech on a 30-yard pass from Caden Martinez with 12.7 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Made it 32-6 at halftime. Then Martinez scored two, three more touchdowns in the second half. A, a third touchdown from Derek George. And your final score is 60-12 as the Natoma Tigers win it. 
The Cunningham Wildcats, man, a fantastic season for, for them as they finish with one loss on the year. And they get their they get their runner up medals and trophy and you know not exactly what they want, Larry Jance, but again nothing to be ashamed of as we as they get their medals and their trophy right now. And they're disappointed right now. One thing they'll do is they'll look back on this. They'll get prepared for basketball season, which will be coming up for them. And then they'll start thinking about next year. This team is going to be one heck of a football team next year. Cunningham will be Cunningham will be a good football team next year as they will have most everybody back. And then you look at Natoma as they'll have to get lined up pretty soon and get ready to receive their medals and their trophy. And your Cunningham Wildcats, state runners up 2021. And now they get their, and Cunningham will get their trophy. And the good thing about those trophies, Larry, is they can stay around for a while. That's right. They stay around for a while. Now the Natoma Tigers, your 2021 state champions. And now they're going to have Natoma come all the way across to the hash mark closest to the press box and get ready for their trophy presentation. So there you look at this Natoma team, and they will, they will lose some kids. Caden Martinez will graduate. Trace and Fry graduate. Nate Reset, who didn't play much, or Nicholas Reset, they graduate. Derek George graduate. They, they graduate some talent. But they also have uh, the quarterback, Roy Bright, back. They've got the, the Javon's back, number eight. Uh, so they, they've got some talent coming back yet. Plus, when you have this kind of success here, guess what that does? Everybody, they practice more in their weight room. They try to get bigger, faster, stronger for next year. Yeah, they want, they want to make it back. That's right. And they want to be back in the title game. They just don't want to show up. Yeah, you uh... – but, you get a taste of this. But the, the it's tough the, to give it up. But the what the thing about it is next year it's different. It's Kesha. so yep. it ain't no big back here at the Wild West Bowl. But they're still gonna play. They're still gonna be good. There's gonna be some more teams that are added to it. That's right. And you are going to gonna be maybe a little bit more difficult to get to this point come next year when you had a. A full, full bracket. You got that right. But there's not another prouder moment than what they're experiencing right now. Oh, not at all. Not at all. As they get the, you get Tyler Masters getting his. Chris Brockelman gets his medal. And then the Natoma Tigers get the hardware as well. That's right. They get the high hardware as well, and here it comes. And they earned it. This is the coolest part, in my opinion. They get a hoist that trophy. Yes, they do. That's a big one. The Natoma Tigers are state champions, and if you look off to the side, it's tough to see. You can't see it on your screen right now. But Coach Lance McGuire has every one of his guys standing and watching this right now. That's right. He wants them to see. He wants them to soak it up and say, fellas, next year we're going to come. We're going to put ourselves back in this position. But that trophy championship from the Wild West Bowl is going to be bigger than if they won the state trophy from the Kesha. <laughs> I've seen it. It, it is a large trophy. <laughs> it is a, lo is a large trophy. That is for sure. <laughs> that is for certain. So, Natoma, undefeated on the season. They are state champions. Win it by 48. Caden Martinez, a heck of a game. The rest of the team, a heck of a game. And that will 
wrap things up for us here in Dodge City. Special thanks to everybody who made the broadcast possible, from everybody in the trucks to the camera operators to everybody back at the station to our sponsors, our underwriters, the coaches, the administration that help us get things prepared for these games, and the staff here in Dodge City who really welcome everybody into town as we uh, come in for the Wild West Bowl here in 2021. Special thanks to analyst Larry Jant. This is Jeremy McGuire saying so long from Memorial Stadium, the Natoma Tigers, your 2021 six-man state champion, 60-12 over Cunningham. So long, everybody. <laughs>